Hi folks, welcome back into the Academy here at Chesterfield Golf Club. Lovely to have you along for another video. Thank you very much for joining us. My name is Warren Bennett. We've got Trev walking around the Academy. Um, got a great exercise for you to improve your iron play and overall striking actually. Um, I love feedback exercises and this is a fantastic feedback exercise. We give this a lot to our juniors. It gives them um, feedback about how well they're, they're doing or how much improvement they will need. So. Next time you go to the range, try this exercise. We've got a stick on the floor. Um, what I'd like you to do is put the aim stick pretty much 90 degrees to where you're going and get four golf balls. So you put them touching each other away from the stick. You put four balls out and then you take the first three away and you leave the one furthest away from the stick. Okay, so that's drill number one. If we can get Trev out the way. So basically, you're putting the ball normally where it would be. So I've got a seven high, I wouldn't, seven high, I wouldn't recommend doing this any more than that. So seven, eight, and nine. So this is what we're trying to achieve is obviously to miss the stick here. So like everything, like I always say, nice and smooth to start with. Ball in the same position where it normally be. So obviously the stick's further back in our stance and we're really trying to make contact and miss the stick. So we're really trying to get down and through and not flip up. Someone who flips and stays back on their right side, they'll struggle with that. So really feel like you can do some practice swings to start with, really making sure that you're hitting past and down. Okay, so that's drill number one. So now we're gonna do on to the second phase, which is only three balls now. Then we're gonna take away the two balls closest to the stick. Okay, so obviously it's getting gradually harder. So make sure you, you might, have to, you might have to pick the club up a little bit on the backswing to miss the stick, but we're really trying to encourage this ball turf feeling. And little areas I would focus on is obviously get some weight off your right leg here. The one at the back, just to kind of really make sure that we're ahead of that line. You can, you can see my contact, because where we make and where we stand to the ball, where we make contact, obviously is two different places. And it's very hard to do that, especially on the way down, because it's very, happening very quickly. So nice and smooth, but really going forward as much as we can to encourage this club to come down. Right, so phase two, three balls ahead. It's obviously gonna get harder. Kick through, right, okay. So now we're gonna go on to elite pro standard. Two balls, taking away the ball that's behind the stick, or nearest the stick. Thank you, Trev. Trev's coming to see if I'm doing it properly and not cheating. Is that all right, Trev? Good boy. Right, okay, out of the way. Good boy. Right, okay, so now we're dealing with very, very fine margins, because even if I come down and hit the ball first, I might clip the stick here. Out of the way, buddy, out of the way. Good boy. Okay, so let's give this, let's not hit this full out but I'm really, really feeling like there's a golf ball furthest past this ball here. So even if I hit this really late, remember that's better than hitting up and fatting it and thinning it and chopping it, in fact. Okay, exaggeration, I have to obviously got to pick it up a little bit steeper than I would to miss the actual stick. I might even just hover the club. And that was really gonna go low and squeezy, but that's even, I don't mind that type of strike is better than high and floaty and, and hitting it fat behind the ball. So carry on doing that. If you're struggling at a certain distance, either the third one or the fourth one, carry on doing that until you can. Remember the certain ingredients that will help this. I would stop at the first one. You know, I'd stop on that last one. You don't need to go any closer than that. And then just carry on. So we've got that, that one, that one and that one. So start off small and if you're unsure, obviously you've got to be very careful because you don't want to whack the stick too hard. Take it nice and slow, keep it nice and steady. And if you can do all four, you know you've got the club coming down and not scooping. Remember what you're trying to achieve. Impact is different to address. Remember you're kicking off your right side, making sure that the head pretty much doesn't move too much. Obviously there's gonna be some lateral movement, but you're really getting off this right side, nice and loose. And you're really getting down into the ball. Gives you a lot of confidence knowing you're not gonna fat it or top it. 
keeps you in the shop as much as you can and forward. Give that a go. Remember, feedback exercises are absolutely gold and they give you so much confidence when you do it properly. But it might take a little bit of time to master it, but stick with it. Fantastic. You don't need to be thinking too much about what's going on. Remember, what you're trying to achieve is the club still on the way down to the ball when you make contact and not the opposite. And the stick being on the floor, or you could just put a chalk line on the grass or just drag your club and make a, make a slight line and see where you go from there. Great exercise. Try it next time you go to the range and just please let us know how you get on. Love to hear how you get on. And any uh, questions you have on this exercise and obviously any other videos as well. Love to hear from you and many thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again on the next one and I'll see you then. Cheerio.